What is the future of the human race? Is it really clear? What will the planet look like in 10 years? Welcome to the Paradigm Shift. What's up, my people? Yes, it's time again for another Get Ready Productions video. It's good to have you guys on board. Pleasure to interact with you and exchange information and ideas. Today's video, it's time to leave the Democratic Party. If you don't know what time it is, you better ask somebody. How about Tulsi Gabbard, Congresswoman from Hawaii, a Army reservist, a anti-war politician, hard to find nowadays, said she's had enough. She's leaving the Democratic Party. I say hip hip. Hooray. Good timing, too, right before the midterms. Look, I am tired of Democrats making all of these promises that they don't keep. But does that mean join the Republicans? Hmm. They're just as bad and in some cases worse. One of the things that I totally disagree with when it comes to Republicans is the lack of choice for women to make a decision about their body. So. I couldn't join the Republican Party no matter what. But I'm not staying with the Democrats anymore. I'm not going for the okie doke. And I don't need them. I'm on a fixed income. I'm retired. So I don't need any of their programs. If anything, they aren't offering anything to senior citizens like dental care and a host of other things that would make my life a lot more comfortable. But I'm in good shape. So I'm not complaining. Life is good. If you are still with the Democrats who couldn't give you a $15 minimum wage, which is affecting tens of thousands, maybe in the millions of people that work every day trying to just get by, can't buy enough food for their family, don't have the money for transportation with the price of gas, can't pay for unaffordable health care, it's crazy thinking that we can depend on these people to help us when we aren't even there to help ourselves. And I know you hear a lot of noise in the background. I'm in a park right now. There's a lot of activity. It is what it is. I was going to start the video over again, but I said, hey, you know, it is what it is. So what I'm trying to say to you guys is, why are you Democrats? Why are you staying with that party? They don't do anything for you. They only do for themselves. And thank goodness, a very outspoken and person that is in the spotlight like Tulsi Gabbard has had enough. And she says, I'm not dealing with these people anymore. I believe, and I know this is very controversial before I even say it, because I don't believe in the two party system and I don't even believe that a third party would really be effective because I think they'll be co-opted once they get any kind of power. I believe in the full breakup of the United States of America. Yeah, let that go ahead and put a little thought in your mind. This way, those that believe, hey, no choice for women, yeah, you go start your own state. Uh, people that don't like uh, people of color, you start your own state. You got a problem with immigration? Hey, you start your own state. And let's just break this whole 50 state up conglomerate up and go ahead and try something new. Because basically, we're on the verge of an economic collapse. It doesn't really matter. Because this United States of America may not be around much longer anyway. So don't get mad at me, because I believe in treating people with dignity and respect. I believe in quality housing. I believe in quality education. I believe in quality health care. I believe that we have the ability to solve all our problems, which is a video that I'm working on. And I may not be able to submit these ideas in time before this country just implodes, self-destructs. They are so fixated on trying to use war to repair the economy that they're willing to start talking about nuclear exchange. These people that are in power are insane. And if you continue to support them and empower them, you're gonna go down with them. 
It's time we break away from the madness. And so are you going to remain a Democrat? And for what reason? Yes, I know that sometimes the Democrats get in office and they really pay a little more attention to how African-Americans are being treated, especially in the criminal justice system. I hear you. I'm not saying that that's not happening. And I know that the Democrats have put people on the Supreme Court that, uh, you know, supposedly would give us some more diversity. Yes, a Latina's on the Supreme Court. I I'm down with that. Yes, an African-American female is now on the Supreme Court. I'm down with that. But look what happened. The Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. So all of that posturing, all that positioning really did nothing. In fact, we ended up taking two steps backwards. So once you do your analysis, once you really look at item by item what the Democrats are not doing for you, and I'm not going with the Republicans, I'm not with the two-party system. Don't get it twisted. Some of you going to try to come at me, well, what's the alternative? Hey, when Trump was in power, did you survive? Did you succeed? Did you overcome? Are you still alive? Then it doesn't matter who's in power. You are the people that will be able to, whatever people are in power, survive. So the reality is, if you know you're going to survive under those adverse conditions, dealing with people in leadership that only think about themselves, then you have the ability to step away from the two-party system. Step away from the madness. Because you now know you can survive and ultimately succeed without them. And so try something new. And I'm saying the complete breakup of the United States of America is now appropriate. And even if we didn't do that, just a mere threat would scare the living daylights out of the people that are in power. And we would have much more wiggle room. We would have much more of a position of making people do things that are appropriate, that are beneficial to all Americans. I want to thank you guys for checking in, for listening. Please subscribe, like, and share my experience with you in the Get Ready Production videos. It's been a pleasure. We'll talk soon. Bringing you a variety of stories that will entertain, educate, and make you think. Thank you for spending some of your time on the Get Ready Production social media platform.